Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, if you've been here before, I'm so happy you came back. Um, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. So um, I think I've got a real treat for you today. Um, which, and no, it's not the lovely pictures behind me that's been drawn by my four-year-old. Um, I've got something bigger to entice you. So we're going to review the Commerce HQ. So we've now been using it for about maybe six, seven weeks. And um, we've got a plan where we allow to build six stores and we've only actually got one active store. So what I thought I'm going to do for today's purpose is that we're going to log on to my account and um, we're going to try to build a new store together and so you'll be able to see kind of all the interface and all the features that commerce hq provides and so you could probably make up your own mind whether you like it or not i personally really love it compared to shopify i think it's a lot better platform built particularly for that purpose um but you know you can think for yourself so let me jump over to my computer and i'm going to take you over there to show you how it all works and so um let's just my washing machine is going um let's just move over to my computer and let's just get on with it welcome back um to the tutorial part so a little disclaimer is um I we've we've got um, only one store with Commerce HQ at the moment, and I'm actually not the one who built it. So it was my husband, mostly doing most of the building. However, obviously I did kind of add products and things like this. Um, so it is going to be interesting because I'm actually going to try to do one from scratch as well. So the plan is what we're going to try to do is um, we're going to because we have rights to build six stores, I believe. So we're just going to do a fake one together and I'm going to use the database of Commerce HQ as well um, to show you kind of how it works, how to add products, things like this. So it is going to be experience for me as well and it's going to be interesting because I'm not the most tech savvy person. So probably some of you out there would kind of get things quite quickly that maybe I wouldn't get it straight away. So it's going to be a very basic um, shop that we just going to build together um okay so let's begin okay so i'm going to start with opening a brand new page um so let me put my face here as well uh, make my face small 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 put myself down here somewhere put myself down here so there we are i suppose that's a good enough setup um so um by the way, I am actually using the screen recording of uh, Quick Play. I don't know what other people do. Um, so I'm sure there are kind of a bit more uh, appropriate softwares for this purpose. So if anyone knows, please do let me know so I know as well. I could probably do a little bit of a research, but I didn't bother. So um, I'd really appreciate if you guys know how others uh, record their screens. Um, but I suppose for the purpose of today, this will do perfectly fine. Right, so, so I'm actually going to log on to Commerce HQ now. Okay, so let's do that together. Okay, so I logged on to my Commerce HQ. Um, so this is the current account we've got. Um, yes, we've got some orders, you might kind of see them. I don't actually want to show people's names, uh, the people who bought them. So um, this is why I'm actually putting my face right bang in the middle of it. Um, however, um, probably there are better ways to hide um, names. However, um, like this is a topic for another day as to how things are going. But what I really wanted to show today is for the purpose of um, like building a new store and how that would look. So as I said earlier, that this is going to be my first store as well that I'm building from scratch. And it's going to be a very basic store. So what we're going to do together, we're going to kind of um, start building and and then go through the database of um you know how commerce hq works and from there on you can just see things for yourself so i already realized actually there is a little button here called build a new store so let's click on that let's see what happens okay okay so let's name our store um I'll call this store, what shall we call it? Uh, 
my first test stove. Um, yeah. No, that's a bit of a silly name. Um, my first store. Not that that's any better, but my first store. It sounds like there's like loads of. Okay, my first store. Okay, so I think um, if you do not buy a domain, as far as I know, that it kind of goes. Um, it kind of goes. Uh, like a whatever the store name is and then dot com is hq.com so just like shopify so shopify would be for example if i didn't actually buy a domain it'd be something like my first store um dot shopify dot com i believe so it's obviously the same so let's just see what it says and over here it's actually telling me that um my plan is six free stores and then $39, uh, 30 days per additional store. So here we are. I'm saying start building store now. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, excellent. Oh, okay, so the problem is not very big. It just says my first store has been taken. So in which case, um, she would say, hmm, what would not be taken? Um, Okay, this really should not take this long. So I'm going to say uh, YouTube YouTube test store. I was going to say it's taken, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, okay. YouTube test store is available. Wonderful. So this may take up to a minute. Uh, please do not close this window. I will not be closing the window. I'm waiting. I'm very excited as to what might show up because I haven't done this bit before. It was all my husband doing this bit. I have to actually log in with my existing account. Uh, I think I do, don't I? Okay, here we are. Okay, I guess this is my YouTube store. Uh, now I'm thinking I should have probably come up with a better name, but I didn't. I hope it's changeable later, although I would always buy a domain anyway, so regardless, I suppose. So, when you log on, these are the first things you see, okay? So, this is basically my dashboard, okay? And what's in this dashboard is, um, so these are actually not going to be on my dashboard once everything is set up, okay? But these are always going to be at my, at my dashboard, so revenue today, uh, when I kind of logged onto the first page you might have kind of seen um there was a little bit more activity than this um but um yeah this is always every day when you kind of log on this is what you're going to see um so this is today um today you can kind of change it over three months or custom you can just kind of um you know put the dates in so it's going to tell you basically um a little bit of analytics so one um to be honest like one uh, a little criticism that I've got is I'm not too sure about the analytics. I actually think Shopify's analytics was a little bit better. Um, I, I mean, the, the the customer service actually is really wonderful, just as good at Shopify, if not better. So you can always kind of request new features and things like this. So I'm kind of going to bring this up. I don't know if they would do it, but I think it would be really helpful to have a little bit more detail in their analytics. So I'm not too sure about the way they kind of do this page so for example um i struggle to see like a uh, what was added to carts so it kind of goes here as you've seen in the other store um that kind of you know edit to carts um checkout and like purchases is kind of like a funnel so um so it was a little bit disappointing in terms of I could not find out what items were added to cart or what, what items were kind of being checked out kind of a thing. Um, so in that sense, no, like I do not actually like this. And I also really liked it on Shopify that you could see live actions. And that's, I feel that another thing that is missing, um, that kind of you can't really see what people are doing in your store i mean you i guess you don't need to you know because you watching people is not really going to make any difference whether they purchase or not but it's just 
kind of nice to be able to kind of go into your store and just see what people are doing in your store kind of a thing. Or the Google Analytics, um, you could add that onto the store if you want a little bit more in depth. Um, but overall, I think um, these are the things that I feel Commerce HQ could improve a little bit. Okay, so the first things, okay, um, so buying connected domain. So I actually feel that this may not really let me keep going through until I do some of those things, but we'll kind of try. Um, so buying connected domain, set up payment processing, set shipping prices. So we'll just kind of make up a few things, okay? So let's start with buying connected domain. Um, connect an existing domain. Mm -mm -mm. No, uh, can I just skip this one? I wonder. So let's set up payment processing, okay? Set USD as your current store. Oh, okay, so I would have to do all of those things as well. Um, so basically, you would have to set all of these up. So I, I don't know if it's actually going to let me build a store without actually doing all of those things because I do remember kind of sitting with my husband and going through all of those things. But I think unless I buy and connect a domain, actually some of the features are not going to be um, shown, like uh, available to see. Um, set shipping prices, so let's see what's here, create my first shipping zone, okay, excellent. So basically, what comes with this product is um, also like a little training uh, training program uh, done by John Mack, and, um, and it's really wonderful because like he literally goes through everything. Um, so in a way, you get a, for $99 a month, you get um, a whole software as well as like a drop shipping full on course basically um, it's like a divided in four weeks okay and so yeah this is what you will get and this is what you will see when you log on so I could for example say um, I could for example say USA uh, shipping rates uh, let's say $3.99 Select countries is going to be uh, United States. Okay, I'm just making it up just to kind of show it to you what it would look like. Um, rule based. So you can even kind of like add exceptions. Like, for example, um, I can say price, um, order total. So I can say uh, $50 free shipping, there you go, because this is what we've done actually for our original, so I think some of the information is already saved. Um, and so this is actually nice, I didn't realise that, probably they kind of guessed that you might want to use some of the same settings, and I realised they kind of um, save it up here on the system, and then I say save, order total exception rate is required, exception rate from 250, or oh, it's infinity? Uh, can I not use infinity? Um, let's say 20 grand. I mean, no one is going to shop for 20 grand. If I say save, does that work? Exception rate. Uh, okay, let's just make this up. UK Royal Mail. Uh, so, yeah, for some reason it didn't kind of take it in. Let's try again. Okay, this is a bit too bright. Um, I'm going to turn this light off, guys, because it's kind of really hurting my eye. Let's hope that I'm not going to go too dark. Okay, not bad. So, um, let's turn the brightness on the computer a little bit more. Okay, um, let's go with that again. I didn't select it again. Ah, uh, okay. I think that's the obvious da. Um, because it wants to know, understandably, um, I think, yes, okay, so that's done, good, let's go back to our dashboard, so I'm going to show you all of those things, so that kind of crosses, when you do all of those items, basically it's going to cross all of them, yeah, um, so you can upload a logo, and I think you can actually do presets, um, like a brand, brand, uh, like a preset branding. So like you can add your colors and things uh, somewhere. Let me see if it's here. And then it kind of puts those colors like throughout, throughout the theme kind of a thing. So 
So John Mack actually recommends this is the checkout steps, contact details, shipping, shipping method, payment methods. Um, so he recommends this would be the best, like uh, how these things kind of can be separate. So I have a logo, let's just make one up. Um, let me just add one, I'll add this one. So this is going to be my logo. But this was kind of the quickest um, picture that I could find. Although, it's, you know, obviously this would not be a logo, but so these, these, you can kind of add all of those pages, generate a sample, there you go. So um, you just click that and then it kind of generates the whole sample. You can kind of go over that. That's quite simple, really. Similar to Shopify in that sense, that I believe um, with Shopify, that's what you do as well. It just generates all these important pages for you. Um, use the Commerce HQ subdomain. Use your own domain for checkout. Um, so logo alignment. So let's do center. So it's going to be at the center of my front page or whatever page the person is on. Had a background, so let's do a background color. Um, I don't know, should we just do black? Let's go with black. Okay, so that's done. Let's see what comes up next. My settings are successful. It's always a good news. Um, so let's go back to my dashboard. Okay, so some of those things, obviously, I'm not going to be able to um, show everything. Um, however, themes, okay, so this is what we've done. I think you could also do, you could do it in so many different ways, I believe. But this is what we've done. So we actually went into themes and picked a theme. And um, actually, there isn't that many themes, apparently, but... Um, this is a quite nice theme. So basically, if I say edit, it's very much of a kind of pre-built um, but highly customizable theme, uh, similar to Shopify, obviously. So um, let's kind of see how that works. Select the file from sidebar. No, that's not really what I'm looking for, is it? So let me see, if I say preview, okay, that's what it looks like at the moment. Okay, this is my wonderful store, as you can see. Um, so basically there's a slider here. Uh, let me just make this big so you can kind of see it as a full page. Although it should be customizable. Um, oh, sorry, I've lost it. Here we are. Uh, so... If I say shop now, let's see what happens. So I've got no collections at the moment, obviously. Um, okay, so this is how it's laid out if you don't change it. However, obviously you could change everything. You could change everything that's on here. So you could change um, all of those items. So this is my homepage. Um, so for example, I would change this picture on this I don't know, you're selling watches or something. Um, and obviously I would probably change this as well. So let's go back to the front. And I'm not too sure why this looks like this because this isn't how it looks on our site. When you upload any media files into... Guys, I'm sorry, as I said, this is the first time I'm doing it as well. So I'm kind of understanding what it is before... It was my husband, so he did the whole store, and it didn't take him long. Um, he he is a website developer, so, um, you know, obviously, it would probably take me a bit longer than maybe it would take him anyway, regardless. But um, he did say that it was quite simple, and um, compared to WordPress, because this is what we were using before, um, b before we decided to sign up with Commerce HQ. But um, anyway, in the end, like it does look quite pretty, just like you see already. Um, so if I was to go edit and then if I say um, preview. OK, so I think I'm going to skip this section because I think in order to kind of understand um, what I need to do, I would have to go through the training, I'm guessing, um, because on the site that we are using, um, it doesn't look like this. So this is kind of like the coding version of the 
whole commerce HQ so I don't know how I got here because on the store that we actually do in business with it's not how it looks um, but as I said it comes with a full-on training um, that you would probably be able to kind of follow through um, so let me show you some of the other features so basically you could just edit this whole thing um, and I would say let's maybe add a few products and then see how they come up and what happens so that's the wonderful thing about Commerce HQ so if you go to um, your dashboards you don't have to even go to dashboard so you can have a look at all tools so this is what you get here um, I mean really I suppose you would have to go through the training to kind of go through each of these items which he does Store. so let's go have a look at uh, app store okay together let's see what's in the app store so the good thing about commerce hq is that unlike um shopify everything is already integrated so you don't have to pay anything yes you pay kind of like the 99 dollars um monthly which is a lot more than shopify however it's like with shopify um i think what it is that it eventually works out a lot more expensive than you expected when you kind of add all the good apps and also kind of the cuts the Shopify takes as well each time you make a sale whereas with um, Commerce HQ they're not taking any of um, any kind of like processing fee from the sales that you make which is actually good because if you um, scale the product and if you're selling a lot of it you do actually end up giving quite a bit to Shopify whereas with Commerce HQ you just got upfront cost of $99 every month and that's it you don't kind of pay for anything else as well so um, so this is rec recommended basically um, like um, accelerator so this has got pretty much got everything in it so some of the other apps that they've got um, we've kind of downloaded print on demand currency converter so if you've got platforms that you could actually migrate your platform mostly Shopify um, so we actually tried to use that option for WooCommerce it didn't work so we had to do everything from scratch which was okay um, so shipping plus reviews you add reviews um, Zapier I can't really remember what that was uh, allow users to integrate their store with thousands of APIs okay so as you can see like all of those things like quantity left or timer widget vi widgets or like recent purchase notifications um, so this is the thing that kind of pops up when you go into someone else's um, someone else's uh, store so another wonderful thing is accelerator oh add a product and download there we go so this is quite amazing build my store for me um, yeah you can apparently do that I think probably I might need that um, if it wasn't for my husband probably I would go for that option um, but to be honest like if you were if if you know I was on my own kind of doing this I would obviously kind of follow the guidance and instructions so I don't think it would be a problem so these are some of the other items here so if you say add a product and download ads i think this is like the for me this was the biggest selling factor of commerce hq because they kind of like um give you everything like just on a silver platter as john max says um so let's have a look at that um to access product you need to buy or connect a domain first oh so that's going to be a bit of a tricky thing. So what I might do, actually, I want to show you what this is from the other account. So let's go. Oh, there we go. So this is what it's going to look like. OK, so you click onto that. These are this. There's like a big database of all these items. Um, so I'm going to go like to the back a little bit uh, all the way. I mean, some of these items are really, really old so um it kind of really depends what you're looking for and you can kind of search it here as well so um so for example let's have a look at this infant hooded snowsuit thing 
Um, and so this is exactly how it comes up when you want to add it on your store. So basically, um, they kind of do the research for you. They put the items there. Okay, so this is the um, uh, AliExpress link. Okay, and so they already kind of got a bit of a description and they also got all these reviews for you as well. Okay, and they've got, and that's the amazing bit, and they've got actually ad copies as well for Facebook ads. So for example, for this one, it says, add this cute hooded snowsuit to your virtual cart and get a head start on your baby's winter outerwear shopping. Get here while supplies last. And this is where you would kind of put your um, URL for this particular product if you're advertising. So it's kind of really amazing. It kind of gives you um, three different headlines, okay? Uh, headlines and call to actions. So it kind of gives you three variants, okay? And it also gives you actually targeting as well, which is like wonderful. Um, so for example, um, some of the suggestions that they made for this particular product is Christmas holiday season, Christmas decoration, Christmas lights, Christmas trees, gift wrapping. So in another ad set, because you're supposed to try, so basically this is what they teach you at the course, you're supposed to try three ad sets with three ads in each ad set. So in total, you're going to have um, nine ad sets. Oh uh, no, nine ads basically for three ad sets, yeah? Um, so this would be kind of like everything's already in here. So, um, and then it kind of, uh, it kind of tells you like what your product margin would be, what your, what your profit would be. Um, so it's kind of a bit of a rough estimate because um, it's kind of assuming that you would be spending a certain amount on ad costs. Um, but wait, it's not like limited to that. You can actually download a video ad here. Um, so let's have a look at the video ad that they did for this particular one. And I really like the way they do their video ads. Basically, I think in order to avoid any copyright issues, they just do really cool backgrounds with like images and things. So I think um, cool backgrounds with the product images. So let's watch this particular one. So. So that's how they do it. Not with all of them. Some of them actually have got um, like actual product things. But yeah, so I mean, you've even got that prepared for you as well. Like I think it's absolutely amazing. However, uh, I must add, like we haven't kind of used exactly what they give you. Yes, I mean, it's wonderful, but I do feel that you have to tweak, tweak it a little bit to get the full benefits of it. So for example, um, when you add this product to your store, um, it just comes up exactly like this, okay? Um, and obviously it comes up with the buy now button. And if you kind of add all of those other features, uh, all the scare tactics, uh, things like checkout timer, uh, you've got a security badge, you could add those promotional bars, like quantity left, timer widgets. So like you can kind of add all of those things to your store as well uh, to add on to the urgency of people kind of needing to purchase. Um, so yes, uh, this is how it would be. But we found it that it's not, um, what's the word? It's not, uh, like you have to tweak it a little bit because uh, like to be fair, uh, the the products are really good. Some of them are really good. I mean, I wouldn't personally buy some of them, but like they're kind of like searching for those high selling, trending kind of products, and they actually put them on there on a weekly basis, which is absolutely wonderful. So, um, but we kind of felt the need to tweak the ads, the ad copy, um, and um, like the product page as well. So you don't want to kind of leave it exactly the way they gave it to you. Um, so we use a kind of more like a guide rather than an absolute must kind of a thing. Um, but it's wonderful that it's all kind of given to you in a silver platter. So what else to show here? Um, so um, I think really, I mean, I covered pretty much everything. Thing in terms of like the most important things that needs to be covered. Um, 
Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out the way I hoped. So I'm sorry about that because I initially thought that I might be able to just build a new store and just like do it from scratch. But it seems it's not going to happen because I don't actually have a domain. So it doesn't kind of let me keep going without having a domain. However, I'm more than happy to kind of tell you or demonstrate anything else that you may want to see. And also, um, there's something else that's amazing is that uh, th there's um, there's a lot of upsells that you can do after one person after a person purchases. Like you can kind of set up campaigns, which are quite easy to set up. Um, as to like, so the person already purchased, they already paid, and then the next page comes up is something like, um, do you want to add this on your order? So you kind of come up with an upsell, um, and basically all they do is like to say add to order. So it just makes it so convenient for the customer. I mean, we haven't really upselled anything yet, however. Um, you know, hopefully as we grow, um, which I'm hopeful that eventually we will, that we will kind of do more of those things. Um, however, one great tip that I'm going to give to you is that if you're kind of doing drop shipping and if you're kind of um, thinking about kind of, you know, giving this business a go, I would recommend funnel pages and I will possibly do another video about how to do funnel pages. Um, if you kind of, you know, want to make some sales, just a simple product page is usually not enough. And if you kind of want to find out how to um, do uh, funnel pages, just look it up really. It's really not that difficult. Um, it's kind of, it's almost like a funnel like you and you've probably seen a lot of those because a lot of those sites that you go to that you've never heard of before they're kind of funneling you so they kind of um, throw a little bait and then they kind of funnel you funnel you funnel you all the way down to the sale russell branson is a big name in funneling and um, funnel pages so i would recommend like if you're going to go into drop shipping try to do more like funnel pages and this is why people say do a single product store. A single product store sells a lot better because you've got a lot of time to create a perfect funnel page for that particular product that you're selling, basically. Okay, so I don't know if I've missed anything. I probably missed a lot of things. So please do comment below, um, like what else you want me to show. Um, is there anything that I was not maybe clear about? Probably most of the video, but. Um, so let me bring myself up and make myself a little bit bigger, okay? So yeah, um, so please do let me know. Um, I will be more than happy to re-demonstrate. Um, and yes, so um, hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.